Hi there, I'm Adam and welcome to Local Bytes. Now today we're going to be taking a look at how to get started with any of our Tasmotor products. You may be wondering what Tasmotor is. Tasmotor is a general purpose firmware written for low power smart devices. Due to it being general purpose, Tasmotor uses a protocol called MQTT. First off, we need to install Mosquito as an add-on in Home Assistant. We've got a button here that will take you straight there. Go ahead and click install. Right, now that's done, we're going to enable start on boot and we're going to turn on the watchdog. And we can go ahead and click start. Then we're going to go to settings, people, and add a person. We're going to call this Tasmota. We need to allow the person to log in, give it a username and give it a password. Now, I recommend enabling can only log in from the local network, especially if you're using a weak password for this user. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and create the user. Next up, we need to go ahead and finish setting up Mosquito. So let's go into our settings and integrations. And sure enough, it's discovered MQTT. Let's go ahead and click configure. Just like that, MQTT is all set up. So let's go ahead and set up our plug. We can take any of our Tasmota devices and simply plug them into power. Next, head over to the Wi-Fi settings on your computer. We can see a new Tasmota network has appeared. Let's go ahead and connect to that. Now Windows should open up the connection test fairly quickly. So you'll see that it's navigated to 192.168.4.1. If you see a blank screen, you may need to wait a few seconds and then press refresh. Here we have the network set up. Tasmota will go ahead and do a scan for us and we can just click on our network. Let's go ahead and type in our password. Tasmota will go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi network and present the IP address. The browser should redirect to that IP address. If not, you can go ahead and click that. And just like that, we have our local bytes device. We can turn it off and we can turn it on. So you may expect the device to appear straight away in Home Assistant, but that's not the case. MQTT comprises of a server and one or more clients. Mosquito is our server, Home Assistant is one of our clients, and now we need to add the plug. Before doing that, I'm going to go ahead and rename it. We'll go to Configure, then Configure Other, and we get this device name. For things like our plugs and our bulbs, I'd recommend having the device name and friendly name one as the same thing. For other devices that have multiple outputs, for instance, on our multi-plug devices, you will see five outputs, one for each of the plugs and then one for the USB. Now, let's go ahead and press save. The device will go ahead and restart for us. So we just want to give it a moment. Great, so that's renamed up here. We can go ahead back into our configuration and then configure MQTT. We're going to leave the port as 1883, and in the host, you want to put your IP address. Now, some modern routers may be smart about this for us. I'm going to go ahead and enter homeassistant.local, and then I'm going to change the user to Tasmota and the password to the one we set earlier, left as they are. Let's go ahead and save that. Next up, we need to go ahead and add the Tasmota integration. So in our integrations page, you may see that there's already a Tasmota integration that's been discovered. We can go ahead and click configure. If that's not there, click add integration and search for Tasmota. We're going to click on the top and we're going to click again. And yes, we want to set it up. Success. We've seen that it's gone ahead and discovered our lamp. We can go ahead and give that an area, click finish, and then head back to our dashboard. And just like that, a living room lamp is there. You may have noticed there's a new user here. This is the Tasmota user. To keep this out of the way, we can go into the settings and disable visible. After a quick refresh, that will hide it from any of the default dashboards. Congratulations, you've just set up your first Tasmota device. Hopefully it's the first of many. You may find that Tasmota will run on other devices that you've purchased. So head on over to 
templates.blackadder.com and you'll see a long list of different devices and their templates. That's all for today. I've been Adam, this has been Local Bytes, and we'll see you next time.